I want to discuss this whole love and hip hop thing with Kendra and Young Jock. Y'all know who they are on Love and Hip Hop. Uh, I'm sure you might know some of the backstory, but you know, as you know, Jock has a bunch of kids um, and a bunch of baby mamas. And I guess with Kendra, when they were dating or, you know, they were just in this relationship or living together or what, whatever they were doing, I guess Kendra was feeling some kind of way because Jock, they took a break in their relationship and I guess they were doing their own thing and Jock ended up having this baby. Uh, so of course it made Kendra feel some kind of way, which is totally understandable. Um, and that's just some of the backstory. So that's, you know, another kid. Um, but the video that I was watching of this interview with them where Kendra told Jock on camera that she doesn't want her boy, you know, the boys, her sons to, to be like him. And of course he took offense to it and he was, you know, had to defend his, himself on camera and I'm going somewhere with this, but I think the way Kendra responded to him was more of out of like a trauma response because of all the stuff that they've been through together. Obviously, uh, she was speaking from a place of hurt because she could have said to him, you know, I don't want your boys to be the way you used to be opposed to I don't want your boys to be like you. And it's just like, well, dad, like you just coming for me you know on camera i think those conversations they are to be had behind closed doors not for for everyone to see not for the whole world to criticize because obviously if you see the video you know the comment sections are crazy but i do want to say this to the ladies well let me address the men first because you might turn this video off or you might stop listening to the podcast if i don't address the men first so let's address the men as a man this is my advice always no now don't get me wrong a lot of times we make mistakes you know we grew, we grew, we grew up in a certain culture um where it was okay to sleep around with a bunch of women and do you and all that other stuff with the music and everything and i'm not blaming music but I will say this is why having morals and values and integrity and sticking to those are very important. Now, do we all mess up? Of course, we all have issues. But if you have somebody in your life as a man that's going to help guide you and help you along the way and doing the right thing, I think that is uh, to that's something to pay attention to. That's something to make sure that you listen to those who who believe in you right who are willing to give you their time and day to teach you some things now i don't know if jock had those people in his life or not i'm not sure i don't know him personally but i'm just saying as a man you got to have the morals and value systems in place because in situations like this when you get older you get married and now you got a whole bunch of kids i don't know anybody who grow up saying i want to raise somebody else's kids now don't get me wrong there's grace for that and stuff like that so i i understand but nobody grows up like that like i want to raise somebody else's kids i want to i want i want to be the other baby mama or i want to be the other baby daddy like we don't we don't think like that right so i think it's important that as a man we have morals and values aligned and we follow through with them because and i tell men this all the time Unfortunately, this is just the ugly truth. When we get into relationships, a lot of times women, they look at us as a strike against us already. Like we can be the perfect man. We can be, give them no reason for them not to trust us at all. But because of their past, because of women's past hurts and the way they've dealt with men in the past, they're gonna look at us as, well, you know, boys going to be boys or men going to be men or something's wrong. You know, something, I don't know, something's not right. He's too nice or he's too good of a guy, that kind of thing where it's like, oh, he haven't let the skeletons out the closet. Like something is wrong. That's sad. You shouldn't have to think like that as a woman. And if he's being authentic and that's who he is, that's who he is. And you should be able to trust that if he's being authentic. Now, if he's lying to you, <laughs> and that's something else so i think out of kendra's 
trauma response. I think she responded the wrong way because she's hurt because there was a lot of stuff that she had to have to deal with on a regular basis with Jock and having his baby while they took this break in their relationship, even though, you know, they got back together, they got married and stuff like that. So that's my piece of advice to me. Just make sure that you have a value system and that you stick to it, please, because life can get tricky once you start getting out of alignment and you start sleeping around with a bunch of women. Again, there's no judgment. Do what you do. I'm just saying that there's consequences that come with that later on in life, especially if you plan to marry because you never know. You know, she might not have any kids, but then you got four and it's just like. Well, dang, she's supposed to just raise all your four kids, you know what I'm saying? Or your four baby mamas. So it's just something to think about. That's just something for my young men. Now, to the ladies, especially, say, in in Kendra's position. Now, if you are dealing with a man that's of jock uh, stature, you you know him. You know he's going down. You know who he is. Or if you're dating an athlete, you're marrying an athlete or an entertainer, anything of that nature. I'm not saying this is all entertainers or, or athletes, but I'm saying you know know what you're getting yourself into. Just because he make a lot of money, you don't think about all the other stuff that come with it. Again, what is his value system? Uh, how does he move? Does he does he walk the walk? You know, when he tell you that he's going to do something, is he going to follow through? Uh, how does he respond um, when, 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 when things get tough in life or when things get challenging or when he run into those temptations, how is he going to handle that? Like, do you know that enough of, do you know enough about him that he's going to make sure that he's going to follow through with his word and he's going to protect you as well? Because to me, this is, I feel that cheating is a choice. If you're going to sleep around, that's a decision that you made. Nobody's going to make you do it, right? If the opportunity presents itself and you follow through, that's because you wanted to. Now, if you really love somebody, you don't want to hurt that person. You know, you don't want to get to a place where you done messed up, you you you, you slept around or whatever, and then you got to come back and explain to this person, to your significant other or your spouse that, you cheated. I love a quote that Chris Rock said one time about stepping out on your spouse. He said, it takes, and, and don't take me, don't take it uh, quote for quote, but he said something to, to this uh, nature. He said that when you're marrying someone, they already have a certain set of issues. But if you mess around and cheat on them, then you got to get to try to know this person all over again because you've broken the trust. And now you got to try to learn this person again because what y'all had before, she believed in you. And now all of a sudden you tore her down, broken the trust, and now everything, you got to start all over. So everything that you worked hard for, it's like, damn, we got to start over again because I messed up and she has to carry my mistake, you know? So I just hope that Kendra and Jock, and Jock, I hope they get the necessary therapy that they need. I hope they work through some of those things. I know with it being love and hip hop, there's a certain amount of uh, drama that comes with it or whatever. But for the most part, I just hope that everything turns out well for them. Um, and sometimes people, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. And it's okay to walk away from a relationship because sometimes it just might be too much for you to handle. I don't care how much money they make. At the end of the day, you have to sleep in your bed knowing that you got to deal with all this drama that comes with (laughs) who you're attached to. So let's just start thinking a little more uh, thoroughly before we decide to get into relationships with people, because I know it's easy to connect with someone who's attractive and they got a lot of money and you're caught up in those kind of things. But do they have a North Star? that's the biggest thing you know do they have um self-awareness do they have accountability these kind of things when we don't talk about that enough we always talk about the outer person but we never talk about the inner person and how that can help keep us at bay when times are tough when temptation comes into our life that you can withstand those certain things and you don't want to break your spouse heart or your significant other heart because they trust you Listen, don't ever lose the trust. 
if you lose the trust, man, this is a hard road to come back. And I did a video on that as well. I'll make sure that uh, I'll link that up so you can see that video on, on, on trust. But if someone trusts you, that's a beautiful thing. Don't mess that up. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you share this video with a friend. Kendra and Jock, I hope you all get the necessary help that y'all need. I would like to see relationships prosper. And I like to see people work through their, their issues and everything that they have going on because we need to see more healthy relationships.